All right, guys, welcome back. We are still on the Dakota here, and I've got the engine just um, kind of getting it squared away, ready to put this this head back on. So again, um, we got the cracked piston block out, and just been switching over all the parts here on this good good block I had laying in the back corner. So. Everything is just kind of bolting, bolting all the other stuff back on because obviously the timing belt and water pump and all the accessories um, were pretty much new on, on the other engine. So got that stuff all swapped over and um, yeah, I got my head gasket here, ARP bolts to reuse. And the, again, this is the head that was on the other engine. Um, it all looks good. And I had already done valve seals and put dual valve springs in this thing. Getting it ready for compound. So we're just going to go ahead and throw it back on this other guy. But had to get the injection pump swapped over. Put in a new rear main seal. Got the crank adapter back on and I'm working on I wanted to perfect this guy here I've got a picture of what it looked like before usually these um, pipes go all the way around the other side I had cut it off and put a hose and a clamp on it but if you actually redo the mount and I'm gonna weld this guy on right here then the um, the oil cooler return can go ahead and plug right into the end of this and then the other um, port over here will go for the heater or the heater core in the cab and then got my 180 thermostat in there like I wanted to start with so we're pretty much ready to slap the head on and finish putting this thing back together so that's what I got done for now Okay, well that took way longer than I was hoping. It was quite a few weeks there waiting on different parts and stuff, but I've got the old block here pretty well stripped of everything I had kind of handmade, all the sensors and stuff. Over to the new block with the new head, got the timing on. Um, I went ahead and fabricated, if you watched the last video, this GTC 1549. I've got a the electronic actuator that was on the, the old turbo is on there and pretty well got that thing set up ready to go moved over all the timing components and got it all in time um, I mean the injection pump everything had to come off of the other one so it took quite a bit of time to switch all this stuff over here and then I've got a test harness here set up um, off the battery here so I can I usually don't test these things on the floor but I had um, some trouble getting the rear main seal and I really wanted to do it without pulling the oil pan but man you pretty much have to pull that oil pan to do it right so I think I kind of folded it over a little at one point and it still went in fine eventually but I do want to just run it for a minute or so and just make sure I'm not leaking there before I throw this thing in. So I got my pressure gauge there on the oil. Can't really see that thing, but anyway. I guess it, yeah, doesn't want to focus on it. Anyway, um, yeah, just getting it all, all switched over. And I think I'm about ready to drop this thing in. So I got some fuel in the gas can, and it should be should be ready to go here. So let's see if we can get this thing to fire up. All right, got my key on wire here. That should turn on the injection pump. There it goes. Seems like it's working. And we got a test. Got our jumper wire here. Let's see what it does. I don't know how 
why you keep getting me to do these videos. <laughs> I might need more batteries. Okay, so that was a new one. I have not um, had that much of an issue getting one started, but I was, I guess if you guys noticed in the video of it cranking, it actually shot my, um, I had a paper towel in there. And so I was like, what's going on there? wasn't um there was way too much blow by it was acting like it did with the crack piston but anyway um got a compression tester on it took the intake and the turbo back off and figured out it was getting almost no compression and that was kind of weird to me because both of these the the block and the head were running when i um took both of the two engines apart that made this one but i think the block sat so long that the rings dried out or they seized up i don't really know because it was running when it turned off so but it's been probably four years at least three or four years before i put this thing together so anyway um got the intake and the exhaust off and i dumped some tranny fluid in the ports there and I went from getting like 10 to 50 PSI compression to almost 400 so yeah I definitely haven't had that much of an issue with them drying out like that that was really weird but um anyway we're gonna go ahead and try to get it fired up again here now that I put that all back together out the flex plate that one had gotten a little ding in it from one of the um, adapter bolts whenever I was having issues with it to start with um, it dented it a little to where it was wobbling so that was a nice thing to check with it out of the out of the truck and pulled that off and rear main seal is working good so we are ready to drop this thing in um, I won't bore you with listening to my super loud winch put this thing in but i'll probably end it here for now and next video i'll be getting this thing buttoned up and back on the road thanks for watching